well, I think it was a part of uh, uh, Russian long-term dreams about, uh, uh, let's say, coming back to, to the 1990s and to destroy, to explode the, 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 the international order that many European countries enjoyed very much after the end of the Berlin Wall and uh, the fall of the Soviet Union. So basically this is just an, an, an escalation of uh, the, same, uh, the same ideas that Putin uh, was uh, uh, expressing uh, many, many times. I think this is a very suicidal strategy for Putin. I don't think this strategy might bring anything but uh, uh, devastation for the Russian economy, regardless of what he can achieve in Ukraine. Uh, and uh, as we know from uh, the experience of other wars, at a certain point there will be some kind of stabilization or normalization based on some kind of uh, either agreement or status quo. And then Russia would need to pay price for that. And I'm afraid that Putin would not like uh, the, the amount of those, uh, how shall I say, losses that uh, Russia is facing. Well, it depends on what basis the conflict would be stabilized, and I think all options are uh, on the table. I mean, I would say the, the most optimal option, uh, I mean, Russia might uh, realize ultimately the limits of its resources and uh, phase out gradually. Uh, of course, Russia can declare a victory for its own population, but the most important thing that is, is, is Russia withdraws from Ukraine. Well, if, it, if it's, this is the case, uh, well, I think, uh, the West might start imposing its own conditions for a dialogue. And I think this is the most important thing. Is uh, European Union ready to uh, negotiate with Russia or to, to come back to, let's say, normal relations at whatever price? Because so far what I see is that it's Russia who sets conditions. And I think this should be reversed or at least balanced. And uh, there are other options, uh, including uh, what is known as uh, coup de palais, for example or coup d'etat. We, we need to maybe understand on what basis this stabilization might be, uh, might be achieved. And of course I'm not speaking about uh, just the completely unsayable options of using chemical weapons and nuclear weapons that unfortunately are also on the table. So in this case I don't think there will be any, any prospect for, uh, for any, uh, any negotiations uh, with Russia unless the government uh, not just disappears but this government might be uh, acknowledged and recognized as war criminals by international court. So in this sense, it's up to the European Union whether they would be ready to keep uh, you know, relations with those who, again, might be with very high degree of probability uh, ultimately recognized as war criminals.